back guys welcome back to my video so today i am doing a wig installment for my birthday and i am installing it today because my birthday is thursday so we're gonna get right into it i already decided i already uh put on my cap my ball cap right now um i already sprayed gossipy glue spray on it now i'm just blow drying in it and making sure that it is really sticky enough so whenever you cut your cap it won't be pulling back or your cap won't fall back so that's what i'm doing right now okay right now i'm currently putting the makeup on my ball cap don't mind me y'all i was just a little wine you know he gets you a little lit sometimes but anyway i'm gonna put the makeup on right now uh before you put the makeup on you better make sure that the got to be glue spray or whatever you use uh is already is dry enough so when you put the makeup the makeup won't be looking like it's melting down because it happened like it did it be me came as well it did that to me before sorry <laughs> so uh Hey, right now I'm just vibing at, trying to put the makeup on, and then the next part should be me actually cutting the cap. So, yeah. Right now, I'm about to get my lace glue and just dap it around the areas that I did spray around my hairline. So, when I dry that, whenever you cut it, it will already be in place, if that makes sense. So, as you can see, I'm going around my hairline. Going around my hairline, 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 hairline. Go, 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 go. No, you see me, you see me, you see me. And then once I dry that, when you cut it, it'll, your cap will stay. Versus just spraying the got to be in cutting. I realize that don't work for me. My cap always end up lifting up. But when I put the glue on the part that I am going to cut, it always stays. So that's my new method. So you guys should try it too. Okay, right now I'm blow drying that glue and make sure the glue is completely clear before you start cutting. And that's whenever you do the lace glue, when you're about to put your wig down, you want to make sure the glue is completely clear before you actually lay it or before you cut your cap. Okay, right now I'm about to cut my cap. I use razor or the scissors to really cut my cap. But I feel like the razor give me a better um, smooth plate, uh, smooth plate versus um, scissors. I feel like the scissors sometimes make it chunky. But you're going to see me, I'm going to use the scissors as well just to get those little areas. Like those little chunky areas right there. Yeah, you want to get that off. So yeah, I did use the scissors a little bit for that. But most of all, I really use the um, razor. For that you want to make sure you get a razor that's absolutely sharp like get a brand new one you don't need no old ones because if so you get some old scissors or some old razors it ain't gonna cut and then your, your installment gonna look crazy so just hit me out on that one and i ain't no professional but just hit me out i know what i'm talking about on that because i had some busted up rusty scissors one time and my whole wig went girl it was just a mess but more the story get some fresh scissors or fresh razor so you can make sure that your installment comes out right so yeah right now as you can see i am cutting the side parts um one thing i did mess on with this cap is that i cut a little too up as you're gonna see further on when i start cutting on the next side i did kind of cut up a little too far but it's okay y'all y'all ain't gotta get too shaky if your cap absolutely um have like start lifting back a little bit it's fine just place place some glue on it or get some got to be glue spray blow dry it down and it'll stay as you can see i'm using the scissors to get those chunky areas off like i was telling y'all and then um yeah so in the next part you will see that the, i would accidentally cut it a little too far up and then you will see how i fix that in just a minute
this is another part that's very important. Make sure you tuck your cap under so your cap can be able to stay down. Even though you're going to have the glue, you want to make sure that it's tucked so it can actually be. So you see how I actually um, have a little bit of my hair showing? So what you will see what I do, I would just put the glue around my hair. I'm not going to put it on exactly on my hair. And if it does accidentally get in your hair, it's okay, y'all. <laughs> I promise it's, it's good. I got glue on my hair, my hairline and my actual hair so many times. And I just wash my hair and it come completely out. So, see, this part I accidentally went a little too close when I shouldn't have cut it no more. And as you can see, my hair is showing right there a little bit. My hair is showing right there a little bit. So, yeah, don't do what I do. <laughs> but mistakes happen. Just get the glue and then your installment will still break out. Ball, map, ball method caps. Cap, ball captain maps. What the? <laughs> the cap method. <laughs> I mean, sometimes things happen, but your wig will still come out right. Oh, my God. So, right now, I am about to get my lace glue and go around, just around the hairline area, as you can see, at the very, very hairline area. And I'm just going to put the glue around that and blow dry it. So, as you can see, I'm going around, and a little bit is going to get on my hair uh, a little bit. But, like I said, it, your hair is not going to fall off. Like You're going to be okay. The only way your hair probably fall out is if you, like, can pin a whole bunch of glue, but only a little bit touched it. It'll be okay. It happened to me plenty of times. So, yeah, what I'm doing is getting the end of my comb and just flatten that out. Make sure you get those corners on the side by the ear. So, when you flatten that out for the, um, when you put on your wig, it will actually lay on that side. So, you won't have any uh, lift up areas, especially when you do the sideburns. Okay, right here, I'm about to put my second layer of glue. I did three layers this time. I always do about three or four layers. I never go above four because I feel like, I ne first off, I never wear wigs for that long anyway. Like, <laughs> after I wear this wig for my birthday in a couple of days, I might go back to my bob. So, I only do like four or three layers. So, it's easier to take off whenever I'm trying to change it out and things like that. But three and, three and four layers is still enough layers, really. Three layers is really a lot. So four and five is definitely enough so i did like three three four layers so yeah make sure everything is heat because in this heat baby this texas heat baby if you don't put at least three and up uh amount of glue baby that mother mm, it will lift up you hear me so just make sure that you put at least three layers at least i know it might be like it'll take too long i'll be impatient too but you don't want your wig to be lifting, especially on my birthday, so, yeah. Right now, I'm getting some witch hazel. I didn't have no alcohol, but witch hazel still cleans the area good. So, I'm just cleaning my area a little bit. Get off any oils off my forehead or any uh, glue that's on, like, the wrong areas. Really oils. This is really for, like, to get the oils off. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm about to do that. And, yeah, guys. Cheat, cheat. So right here, y'all, I had to take me a little food break, baby. I was so hungry. I was in that restroom about to pass out. Do you hear me? All them chemicals, all the extra stuff. I was in there like, bro, this ain't going to cut it. But, yeah, that was my little food break. As you can see right here, um, most wigs come with a little clip in the middle. So what I did was just get the razor and cut that clip off because it does. It, it all, Sometimes it makes your wig unflat. So when you cut that, it makes it real flat. So. I had to cut that off because sometimes it make the install look very much bulky and you don't need that. So right now, I'm putting the wig on. I did cut in um, the lace in sections. I did about four sections. Uh, two on the side one, and two in the middle. And um, just so it can be an easier installment. So, yeah. Okay, right here, I'm trying to get the placement right on my head. To make sure before I actually start pressing the hair into the glue that is actually fitting on my head in the right place and then once i do that and see that it's in the right area i will start getting my comb and pressing out the area Now I am currently getting my blow dryer. I already put my elastic band on there. And I'm just going to blow dry it while the elastic band is on there. Okay, right now. <clears throat> sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay, right now I'm currently getting my razor. And I'm going to use my scissors as well. So what I do is I got the razor just to start me off 
with the placement that I need to see where I need to cut, and then I will get the scissors and cut the rest for mainly all of the uh, tabs that I have cut. So, yeah, you're going to see me starting off with the... Um, <laughs> eating again so i started off with the uh razors and then started with the scissors y'all i couldn't look at the camera and did it so i had to look in the mirror so i'm gonna have to come back whenever i have everything cut <clears throat> okay you can see me right now i'm getting my hot comb and yes my hairline look a little ashy right now but that's i didn't put no makeup or no lace tint or anything there right now so don't mind that but right now i'm just hot combing the hair back so when i will be able to put the makeup in the lace tint no hairs will be any way Okay, so right now I'm currently getting my makeup in the shade. I think it's shade 11. I'll show y'all what makeup I got. Which I should have got a shade darker, which I realized. But it looks darker on the picture, but I guess not in person. But it did match my hand. So I guess it was just a lace that was kind of throwing me off. But yeah, right now I just put a little um, makeup on there. And then I am, I am going to put lace tint as well on there. Just because the makeup was just a little lighter and I wanted it a little darker. Okay, right now I am using this lace tint spray that I did get off Amazon um, in a shade medium brown. I feel like this color was really good for my skin color. It wasn't like too dark, too light. It just matched perfectly. It wasn't orangey or anything like that. So, yes, what you do is I just put, did a couple of dabs and then got my um, edge brush and just spread it around my lace. And then I'm going to show you how it look after the lace tint okay so i did add the lace tint and this is how i was looking after the lace tint it's not ashy anymore or anything like that it really matches my skin i really like lace tint i um, will probably use that more often than makeup but i'm still probably use the makeup for my ball cut the method as well but it really gave me the look i needed so i really liked it 10 out of 10. so right now i am doing the baby hairs um i decided to do a side part and just do one baby hair at the top um and then one on the side and then one at the very side where my soup it is i can't explain it so y'all will see the finished product but yeah i don't want to do too many baby hairs i kind of like it more natural so with the baby hairs i do use my razor to uh, make them shorter i don't really use scissors like i used to because scissors make them more like sharp i want it to be like a fluffy look so i do get the razors and use that and then it comes out the way i want it okay right now i am curling my baby hairs um I used to not do this. I used to think it was crazy. <laughs> then I started doing it, and it actually makes your baby hairs lay easier because you it's already curled, if that makes sense, versus trying to curl them while you're trying to do a baby hair, if that makes sense. So as you can see, this is how baby hairs I'm doing. I so right now I am getting a Got To Be Glue spray, and I'm using that to lay my edges. I realize that I like that look because when I use that as an edge control, basically, for the wig, um, it makes my edges not crunchy and it makes them like fluffy wise. You see how they fluffy they look and they don't look like hard edges. That's what I like. So I use that for all my edges. And yeah, usually I used to use like mousse and stuff, but mousse really didn't give me that. It used to lift on my lace. So got to be good. As you can see, some of my baby hairs I was going for, I couldn't explain it as well, but as you can see it, yes, got some glue spray, really works for my edges. I make them look crunchy and make them look shiny. It still make them look like they got some volume to them, which I love. And as you can see later in the video, I will put another edge, uh, another baby hair at the top. But right now, I'm just showing you that how it looks with just those two on the side. And as you can see, I did decide on doing flat iron curls. A lot of y'all around this area, y'all started getting so fed up. Like, I wanted to go eat. I was tired. Like, I was like, that's why I was holding one finger. Because I'm like, one more curl. Jesus, Lord have mercy. So as you can see, I ended up doing that um, baby hair at the top. But yes, y'all, this is the look. And I really love the flat iron curls. Honestly, like... I never thought I'd end up doing flat iron curls, which I just learned how to do them today. I just decided to try it, and it actually worked out pretty good. So, yeah, I will go back and fix that other side. But, yeah, this is really the finished look, and I'll show y'all the end look in a minute. Yes, guys, this is the finished look. I really loved it. I will put the description down below of the link of the Amazon wig. It is a 180 density and 20 inch. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And this is also some videos that I took, and, yes, I really love the look, y'all. Yes. Oh my god, I'm show y'all some pictures in a little bit. Hold on, and this is some pictures. So, yes, hope you guys enjoy this video. So, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I really am. So, this will be the end of my video. Yes, it y'all, I didn't went from trying crimps to trying curling iron curls to one. I was so stressed, but I just got on curls and they came out pretty cute. So, I don't want to do like a style style with my hair yet because I don't want to put on those 
you know, extra chem I'm extra chemicals, extra oils and all that extra stuff right now because I'm not really doing nothing but staying at home. So yeah, um the real I'm probably gonna do style it, style it like oh my birthday and that Friday of the uh, bowling alley. But yeah, other than that, y'all, this will conclude the end of the video. Hope you guys love the video. Yeah, I was singing in the back, so um, if y'all see me like moving my mouth, I was singing. But other than that, y'all, yeah.